be Ningdao. A king is called a Ningdao and a queen is called a Lima in Manipuri. This is a story from Manipur about what qualities make a good ruler. Long long ago in the land of Kanglipak in Manipur, there lived a Ningdao and a Lima. They were loved dearly by the people. The Ningdao and Lima on their part never stopped thinking about their mayam, their people. Our mayam should be happy, they said. The people were not only the ones who loved their Ningdao and Lima, the birds and animals too loved them. The Ningdao and Lima always said everybody in Kanglipak should live in peace. Not only the people, but the birds, animals and trees. Their beloved king and queen had three sons, Sanajoba, Sanayama and Sanatomba. Twelve years later, a daughter was born. She was named Sanatombi. She was a lovely child, soft and beautiful inside. She was loved by one and all. The years went by and the children grew up well. And then, one day the Ningdao called all his ministers and said, It was now time to decide the Tungi Ningdao, the future king. The ministers were shocked, but oh Ningdao, what is that to decide? Sanajoba, your elder son, will be our future king. Well, the Ningdao replied, that's how it happened in the old days. The eldest son always became the king, but time has changed. So, let us select a king who is most worthy of becoming a king. We will have a contest to select the future king, the Limo said. And so, in the land of Kanglipak, there was a contest, a horse race. Whoever reached the Kongnang first would be declared Tungi Ningdao. But then, a strange thing happened. Sanajoba, Sanayama and Sanatomba, all three of them finished the race together. They were expert riders and all three reached the finish line at the same time. There was a great excitement. Look at them. The people shouted, Shahul, Taubanupa, such fine horsemen. But one question remains, who would be the Tungi Ningdao? The Ningdao and Lima turned to their sons. The Ningdao said, Sanajoba, Sanayama and Sanatomba, you have proved that you are fine horsemen. Do something different, each one of you, so that we can decide who will be Tungi Ningdao. Suddenly, Sanajoba mounted his horse and held his spear straight in front of him. He looked around. There was a hush among people. What is Sanajoba, the eldest, going to do? They thought to themselves. Sanajoba then looked at the huge Kongnang standing majestically in the distance. He pierced the tree and jumped his horse through it. 
bravo bravo the people shouted tauro tauro and then they fell silent now it was the turn of the second son son aima what would he do son aima to look at the kongnang as he mounted his horse then he too rode towards the tree harder and harder the people watched in silence afraid even to breathe when he was really close he hurried his horse to jump higher and higher the horse rose until horse and the rider jumped clear over the huge tree and landed the other side in a wonderful motion the people breathed in relief and said in unison piaje piaje wonderful wonderful and now it was the turn of the angest son sanatomba he too rode his horse towards the kongnang and anybody knew what was happening he uprooted it from pantly he carried the tree to the ningtao and lima and laid it at their feet shouts of Tauro Tauro Piaje Piaje filled the mountains the people grew restless why were the ningdo and the limo taking so long to make the announcement they craned their necks to see what was happening the ningdo and limo were watching sanatombi their five years old daughter she looked sad and lonely she stared at the kongnang which lay dead by the throne birds flapped around oridly searching for their homes in the tree sanatombi walked up to the kongnang and whispered the kongnang is dead it was hurt by the spear and now it is dead the people were all attention the ningdo stood up He looked at three boys he looked at the little girl he turned to the people if anybody is worthy of becoming the ruler he said it is little sanatombi it was she who told us to look at the soul of the kongnang sanatombi feels the pain of others she feels the pain of the people the animals the trees i declare Sanatombi the future lima of Kanglipak the Lingdo said a silence fell everyone turned to look at the little girl the future queen that she stood all of five like a small kongnang with birds flying all around her they sat on her shoulder and on her head she held out her hands full of grain and the birds flapped about her taking at the foot yeah limo is one who does not hurt anybody in the kingdom